What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Play with CJ. Someone asked me the other day who I had as my Norris Trophy winner at this point in the season with three, four games to go. So who I who I'd have winning it pretty much, and couldn't come up with anyone. Uh, you know, you couldn't come up with one person. You know what I mean? That Eric Carlson's not in it. Uh, he's got seventy points, having a you know great year offensively, but the team's awful, and he um, his plus minus is atrocious. Which I know someone's going to throw at me plus minus is irrelevant, but. I think a lot of times it's still a telling stat in a lot of cases. Um, I, I don't base everything off it. There are a couple of players I'm going to write off my list that are minus that you know you can overlook because the team's not that great. But it, my three finalists would be Duncan Keith, uh, Drew Doughty, and Shea Weber. You know, and those are guys that have done well points wise, you know, statistically, um, and that pass the eye test every time I watch them. And again, I watch a lot of hockey, so. Um, Peter Angelo is in that mix as well. So Daniel Chara is definitely in that mix. Victor Hedman, I've watched a lot of him this year being in Tampa, and he's looked a lot better. I mean, I've gotten the chance to watch him. I can't down him. He's a second-year player. And the progression he's had, some ups and downs, but I, he really looks like he's putting it together, and I think he should be in the top ten. Uh, at the aforementioned, Alex Peter Angelo. P.K. Subban is a reigning champion. You know, he's having a good year. I think he's at 53, 54 points. And um, I got Ryan Suter. He's playing a ton of minutes. The Minnesota Wild don't play at 8, 8 p.m. tonight. I think he's already played 15 minutes. <laughs> you know, he's logging a lot of minutes for that team. And, um, you know, you, you can't overlook that. Uh, Nicholas Cronwall, I get in the mix as well. He's having a good year with the Red Wings. You know, really keeping that team afloat for a lot with, um, for the most part, with you know, the injuries they've had all throughout that team. Oliver Ekman from Phoenix is in it. Every time I watch him, he impresses me. I know he's minus, but you can overlook that. And uh, Giordano up in Calgary has been awesome. He's actually he's plus 12 on that on a pretty bad Calgary Flames team. So, uh, you, you know, you got to look at that. Again, my three finalists, Duncan Keith, Weber, and uh, Drew Doughty. I think I'd give it to Keith, to be honest with you. But I wouldn't see, be surprised with pretty much anyone on that list. Um... You know, just just the way this year's been. You know, and you, I don't have Carlson in the mix because he's been too much of a liability defensively. I've seen him get burned way too many times for me to say he's a top ten. He is a top ten talent wise defenseman in the NHL. But I think when you look at those, are my tenth finalists. I mean, maybe you scratch out one and put Carlson in there, but I can't see Carlson winning it um, given his lapses defensively for as much prowess as he has offensively. It's not a knock on Carlson. I like him as a player, but at the same time. You know, you got to keep the, the big picture in mind with the defenseman. There's the first part of that word. Um, and, again, this has been a pretty intriguing year for NHL defensemen. Um, I mean, no one's running away with the, you know, NHL defense scoring title. So, obviously, Carlson has, but outside of my in my top ten. Um, so, I guess you give it to Duncan Keith. But I'm curious to see what you guys have to say because I've heard a ton of different people have different top threes. And I don't disagree with them. It's it's one of those things. It's whatever you make it out to be. Um, obviously, uh, Crosby's going to win the Hart Trophy going away. And, uh, you know, the Vezina's in all this situation. I'll talk about the Vezina later on. But the Norris, because there's so many different criteria, you know, how much of an emphasis you put on points, you know, Corsi, plus, minus, you know, team success. I mean, it's uh, it's difficult to come to one foregone objective conclusion because everyone has different um Opinions. So, anyway, again, I want to hear what you guys have to say. And I'll stay tuned for more episodes of the Power Play with CJ throughout the season, the playoffs, and beyond. I like being able to say that. Later, guys.